guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be covering Tentsu, an organization that seems to have close ties within the Resident Evil franchise and an unnamed company that might have connections to Albert Wesker himself. So without any further delay, let's just get into the content. Most of Resident Evil 7 aims to please on the promise that they gave, the one that the game will kind of be isolated from the rest of the franchise, and so for the most part we're just surviving through the house. For most of the games, the only references we get are mostly about the Baker's family. We get little hints at how the virus works early on, such such as the document where Marguerite had a checkup at a doctor's, and these things do give us a little bit of foreshadowing and insight into how the virus might work. However, it is later on when we actually see the case that contains the D-Series corpse, we finally see the label Tentsu, and this seems to imply this is the organization that is related to the D-Series and E-Series bioweapons. The first series of documents related to this are subject tests which basically show an align with information and foreshadowing shown earlier. We know that the mold infects the body and it eventually spreads to the brain where it starts to cause neurological damage and control. This is where the hallucinations, audio and visual are coming from as well as the manipulative mind control. It seems like Tensu was testing this thoroughly. They were putting limbs off of people to test the regenerative purposes as well as letting people infect all the way into the last stage of the mold. It seems like Tensu's research division was extremely well established. Tensu also had a special operations division for doing any kind of dirty work that had to be done. Now the special operations division, they were moving Evelyn because of fears that a rival company would attempt to steal her with the intention of selling Evelyn in the American market. However, for some reason that may be a plot hole, but could also have some theoretical sense, they decided to let the ship post-infection drift into Louisiana. Tensu does seem to be an organization shrouded in high mystery. However, there are a few more documents related to the creation of the mold. We find out that the mold project was initially instigated in the year 2000. It was one of several weapon concepts for the next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative. Jesus, that is a mouthful to say. Now the really interesting thing here is that they were working with assistance from the HCF. Now the HCF, as anyone may know, was the private special arms branch of an umbrella rival corporation. They also had ties to Wesker, who they hired in 1998 at the Rockford Island incident to recover the T. Veronica virus. At a certain point after Lucas had become infected, it seems like Tensu took the initiative to cure him and then kept in contact with him and used him as an inside source of information. He was basically being used as a shadow operative within the Evelyn unit to keep tabs on her. They also seem to want to know information about Mia, but it is unknown why they cured Lucas, nobody else, and left the situation to naturally evolve. It would also be likely to assume at the end of the game, when Lucas escapes into the mines, he's actually rendezvoused with a Tensu operative who's off offered them a way out. Anyway guys, that's all I have to offer on Tensu. They're a very mysterious organization and I'm sure future content and DLC will shed more light on all of these questions. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe and share. That would be the ultimate form of support. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. As always, have a beautiful day, take it easy and peace.